Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are in point two three, and right off the bat, I want to say I do apologize for the lack of episodes in the recent past. Uh, I just I have no excuse. There's nothing for me to say um, other than I apologize. So, um, what this video is, this is post commentary, by the way. Um, this is just the first few missions uh, that we, you know, everybody has to do at the very beginning, just uh, basic parts, just to get enough science to unlock the first couple of tech nodes. Um, and as you can see, I'm using one mod, and that is it. I'm using uh, the flight engineer. I just think it, you know, it gives a little bit more information that um, I think everybody should have uh, without having to go flip between, you know, several different screens. The, you know, the IVA view, the map view, and all that. So. Uh, yeah, that's the only mod I'm going to be using. Everything else is going to be completely stock. Um, I don't think that that mod changes the gameplay too much to actually uh, uh, be considered, you know, uh, modding the game so it's not stock. So I, I still consider this to be a stock let's play, and uh, that's the way we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to approach it. Just stock parts, other than the flight engineer. So, with that said, our mission goal. Um, I don't really have one per se um, yet. I do obviously want to uh, uh, fill out the tech tree um, and just go from there um, and do, you know, obviously build things um, with the parts we have available at the time. Um, like, uh, as soon as we can, I want to get, you know, stations up and orbit around different bodies. And um, I want to, you know, I want to go to the different planets this time, not just Duna. Uh, I want to go as far as I can, everywhere I can, you know as much science as I can and, and whatnot and if we do end up maxing out the tech tree before we have everything accomplished we're still going to pretend like you know hey we're, we're we're scientists we need to go and explore these bodies anyway to further our knowledge of, of our known universe and our known solar system so uh, I still want to have a point and a and a, and a reason to uh, to go to different places um, and what we might have to RP it a little bit or whatnot but uh, I think that's what we're going to do so um, yeah like I said these are just the uh, post commentary of the first few missions, uh, nothing too spectacular. Um, I know there, there's a lot of different uh, changes to the way science works, and that's one thing I'm trying to do is trying to, to figure it out. I know now that uh, the Mystery Goo Containment Unit and the Science Junior, they're one shot uses now, unless you have the, uh, I think it's called the Science Lab unlocked. Um, and in that case, you can you can clean them out and reuse them again. And, uh, Oh, that's a little loud. I'm gonna definitely have to edit the volumes around. But um, one thing uh, I forget where I was going. Um, oh yeah, the uh, the command pod can store uh one science report per biome per type of experiment. I believe. Um, I think that's true for everything other than crew reports. I think you can only store one crew report per command pod. I think. Um, that's something you know. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get used to, and and deal with. you can't science spam. And I, I never really did. I didn't play around too much in point two three, so it's not like I'm relearning everything again. I'm actually learning most things and just changing what I did know around a little bit. So it's not that bad. So um, right here, I have a I have a hard choice deciding on which which uh, node I should go for first. And uh, later on, I realized I probably should have went for the uh, um, the parachutes. Um, the radio parachutes because I hit uh, uh, you'll you'll see you'll see um, n nothing catastrophic happens unfortunately but um, um, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not going to implement any specific rules that I can think of right off the bat um, if you guys have any kind of uh, challenges or rules or anything you want me to try out um, just just let me know and I'll, I'll see what we can do I don't want to make this too hard and I don't want to make it too easy um, I don't want to make it too hard because I'm not an expert by any means. Uh, obviously, you can tell by my ship design and the way I, I played the game, but uh, I don't want to say, like, I have to do this, or this cannot be used, or this cannot, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just want to, you know, just play the game and, and enjoy it, and hopefully you guys enjoy me playing the game as well. So what I, I decided to go ahead and just go ahead and get the radial parts. Um, I got the, the, uh, the stack separator slash decoupler or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the radial uh, decouplers as well, so I figured we could, you know, at least get in orbit um, and get some scientific uh, data that way. Um, and uh, change the name to Humble Start 2, as you see there. We're going to leave Jebediah in there, I believe. Yep, go ahead and get out the launch pad. I um, mean, the performance uh, uh, optimization uh, with the load times and everything, I've, I've, I've seen that it's pretty amazing. 
Um, as you can see, I put uh, Science Juniors on the side of there with a girder piece, and that's what I'm talking about. What I meant when I said I wish I had a right there, you can see I'm like, ah, I wish I had uh, radial parachutes because I don't know how hard this is going to land down wherever we do land down. Um, I know when, if you land down in the water, it's pretty, it can be pretty, uh, pretty rough sometimes if you're going a little too fast. But uh, um, spoiler alert, nothing, nothing like I said earlier, nothing too catastrophic happens. Um, and we are able to get our first couple of missions down. And uh, I do mess up the orbit. It, it's not the most uh, circularized orbit in the world, but it is. Uh, we do get to orbit with this just a simple stage. Uh, you, you see right here, I, I don't explain it very well uh, in other videos, but the reason I like using uh, the flight engineer is you don't have to keep flipping between uh IVA and map view and your ship view and all that um to get the information right here I I well I, I think eventually I do put a uh a, a node up what I do with a node is I use the nodes just pretty much so I know uh how much uh time I, ha I have like a, 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 a that one little reading right off to the right of the nav ball that I can see and I don't have to try to find it on the flight engineer how close I am to the periaps and, and whatever um, just one thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing but uh, I'm, I'm kind of rambling and I'm not making too much sense I'm trying to remember what, what uh, was going through my head at the time um, I don't have too much stuff to be in this stage that's what I was looking at right there uh, I'm kind of worried about getting into orbit and right here you can see I'm like Ooh, oh I wasn't paying attention to my periaps and right there see, I, I just put a marker so I'll, that's where I want to burn that's what I was talking about earlier so I, I can tell how far away I am from where I want to burn um, here I'm trying to get different uh, readings over the biomes the specific biomes around Kerbin because uh, you can like I said you can store uh, one scientific experiment per biome per type and that's what I was trying to do and I, I think at one point I get too high for it to be considered you know grasslands or badlands or whatever um, excuse me it's just high above the atmosphere I think this is what it says and um, uh, that's one thing I'm gonna have to learn is uh, how high for a specific uh, planet you have to be to be able to uh, be considered low above grasslands or something like that. Um, luckily, we do have enough delta v to uh, get back in, and uh, we do uh, bring it back down, and everything is fine. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing this video to an end. We have a couple more minutes uh, left of footage, um, but like I said, if you guys have any ideas of what kind of uh, missions and/or uh, crafts or uh, ships you want me to try out uh, just let me know um, I don't like I said I don't have any kind of uh, uh, mission uh, specific goal in state um, for the overall uh, for the overall series I'm just you know kind of winging it playing it and just uh, going uh, taking it mission by mission right now so uh, like it like I said, just let me know if you guys have any ideas, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But uh, as you can see, we're coming down, and I'm gonna—I think I'm gonna leave in the part where uh, we go back and we unlock the next couple of stages. I, I think I get like something like 70-ish science from this mission, which isn't too great. Like I said, I'm not trying to go for the most efficient science runs in the world and have these big numbers and everything. I'm just playing the game casually, and uh, and and that that kind of suits me. Um, I can I can record ahead of time. I don't have to you know plan out these super epic missions at the very beginning to try to maximize min max the science values I get. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do plan on going for these uh, you know ex you know extravagant missions later down the road where we you know hit up multiple bodies at once and everything. But uh, yeah, so we got a decent amount of science. Nothing crazy, and uh, we unlock. A, uh, I think we finished out this this tech node right here. And I think, yep, we're, we don't have enough science. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more.